Hey, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to develop some black and white film. So the materials you'll need are a developing tank. I like the Patterson 2 reel. Three measuring cups measuring at two cups each. Developer, we're going to be using Rodinal today. Stop bath, fixer, an optional Kodak photo flow solution to help with drying. A thermometer, a pair of scissors, and a bottle opener. You're also going to need a sink and a dark room. And if you don't have a dark room, you can use that room under your stairs, or you can buy a light safe changing bag online. I also highly recommend getting Digital Truth's massive develop chart app. So before you turn off the lights, just make sure all your items are laid out where you want them. Grab your roll of film and a bottle opener and bust that baby open. Feel around for the leader and grab a pair of scissors and cut that off. Grab one of your spools and feel around for the sprockets. Take your film, load it into the sprockets, and twist it back and forth to take it up. And once you've reached the end, grab your pair of scissors and cut the spool off. Take the rest of the film up, slap it back onto your cylinder, and load it back into the tank. Once you have your lid on, you're okay to turn the lights on. So these next steps are going to vary depending on what tank and film you're using, but today we're using the Patterson 2 reel tank. and two rolls of Ilford HP5+, Plus, so that's going to require that we fill the measuring cup to 20 ounces of water at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Different developers are going to require different water to chemical ratios, but for Agfa's Rodinol, that's going to require one part chemical to 50 parts water. So measure out 11.6 milliliters of chemical and stir that into your water. You're going to want to have all your chemicals mixed and measured before you start developing to make for a seamless transition between chemicals. Start your timer for 11 minutes and pour your developer in. And for this agitation sequence, you're going to agitate for the first minute, followed by an agitation every 30 seconds for 5 seconds. Once your 11 minutes is up, you're going to pour out your developer into an empty container. And it's important to follow your city's waste guidelines so you don't pollute the water. Pour in your stop bath immediately after and agitate for an entire minute. Responsibly pour out your stop bath and pour in your fixer. You'll agitate for an entire minute, followed by an agitation sequence every 30 seconds for 5 seconds. Fixer is reusable, so pour that back into your container. Give your film a rinse, and lo and behold, your negatives are ready to come out of the tank. This next step is optional, but adding a drop of Kodak's photo flow prevents watermarks from showing up on your negatives, and it helps with trying. And you'll just stir that up for a second and let it sit for two minutes. For the final wash, you're just gonna rinse and pour with water for a total of five minutes. So for the last step, you're gonna dry your negatives, and if you don't have a film dryer, I recommend doing this in your bathroom where the humidity levels are higher. This will just help draw the water off your negatives. Use a couple of clothespins to hang and weigh your film. Then I just take my two fingers, dip them in some water, and squeegee off the film. It's important to archive your film negatives properly, so set up a binder full of print files negative archival sleeves, and cut your film into strips of five. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for the next video on how to scan.